guys, welcome back for another video. If you're new here, my name is Lulu and in today's video, we are gonna be sharing a brand new foundation that launched from YSL and I wanted to do a first reaction with you guys as well as a wear test to see how this foundation actually wears. As you know, I'm a big fan of all things YSL Beauty. I wear a lot of their products and I've also done another video in the past on this foundation right here this is a really good one so i had to try out another one and share it with you all so if that interests you please keep watching but if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider doing so that way you never miss out on any of the fun that we have going on here i like to create videos for plus size fashion beauty and lifestyle living here in japan but without further ado we're going to jump right in and get started I have a bare face. I literally have nothing on my face besides just a little bit of skincare. And I did kind of fluff up my brows and I did use the NYX brow glue. This stuff has been working really well. I tried it out a while ago and it didn't hold my brows as well as I needed them to because I have very like thick coarse brows and they don't always hold in place very well. But I gave this product a go again. And I noticed that when I do it first and I also have really clean brows and I clean around the area of my eyebrow, it works really well. And I still kind of fill them in. I haven't done that yet. But yeah, so this is what I've been using so far and this is what I have on my face besides skincare. But to start, I am gonna use my Tushy Clat YSL Primer. This stuff is literally at the bare end of it. I don't know if I can get much out using the pump, so just gonna have to open it up and like scrape some out but this stuff is so good I've always really loved it and I've used it for many years now it seems to be one of my favorite primers of all time okay so and now that I have the primer all over my face and I'll definitely make sure that I link everything that I'm using today down below in the description box so that way you guys can purchase anything that I'm using that you love but I am gonna deep dive into this and this is the product that I wanted to share with you guys. This is what the packaging looks like. I know sometimes I get a really weird glare so you might not be able to see the packaging but I'll try to pop up a little image of it somewhere over here for you guys. But this is the packaging and this is supposed to be, you know, their newest like skin tint, very you know, light to medium coverage. It's very buildable. Um, it's called a bare look tint. So I love these types of products, especially going into like the warmer months and into the summer. I don't like to cake on so much product onto my face because it's just uncomfortable and I want my skin to be able to breathe. So I was super excited when they came out with this and I did pick it up in the shade NU9. So hopefully it'll be the correct shade. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a nice little tube, which I love because sometimes as you could tell with my pump, sometimes there's still product at the bottom of it and you can't get it all out, which can be super frustrating. I have to like open it up and like scrape the inside, but this is nice because you can just literally squeeze it all out. So what I'm actually gonna do is just squeeze it directly onto my face because it is a nice little squeeze bottle, which makes it super easy to apply it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So right off the bat, the product seems very watery, but not too water it has like a nice texture to it which i really like um i tend to when i get a new product i will touch it with my fingers and just kind of see so it has a nice hole to it but it does have a nice light feeling which i really like and i'm just going to blend it out with my favorite foundation brush from matte cosmetics you guys know that i use this one all the time and it just seems to be my favorite for blending everything out but this is actually a really good match. I'm surprised because I wasn't sure initially if I picked the right color. And this shade is actually really, really great. And it's covering everything so nicely. But again, it feels like I have nothing on my skin. I wish I could describe the texture to you guys a little bit better because it has a thickness to it, but it's also watery at the same time. And I know that's probably not describing it very well but I really like it and I feel like it's so soft and kind of pillowy on the face. And it literally feels like I have nothing on my skin, which I'm loving. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to blend this all out and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I blended it all out, this is kind of how the finish is. 
and I really love it. And I hope you guys can see just how nice and light it is. Such a great coverage and I feel like it's so easy to work with and this brush really worked beautifully to kind of blend it out. I would probably also recommend using my fingers. I feel like with this type of product, just with the texture and how it felt, kind of warming it up within your fingers would kind of go on, I think a little bit nicer. So I do wanna add a little bit more coverage to certain areas of my face. I have a little bit of spots over here that I would like to cover. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit in the areas that I wanna cover a little more. This product is extremely buildable, so you don't have to worry about it. If you wanna add a second layer, it's not gonna build. And it definitely does, and it's looking really nice, and I'm loving the texture. Like, I wish you could see how soft it looks on the skin and how natural because it really is a nice texture that it's giving off. Okay guys, so I did my next layer and I'm just loving the way that it looks. It looks so fresh faced and beautiful and I really hope the camera is picking up how pretty that it looks because I just feel like it looks like my own skin, but just better and just more glowy and gorgeous and just has that really nice finish where it just looks like my skin, which I'm really impressed with. And I felt very similarly about this one when I tried it out and I really loved it, but I almost feel like this one is now the better younger sister. I know that sounds awful because I love this one, but this stuff is so good and I feel like the texture just seems to go on a little bit easier and blends out really nicely. So I don't know, this is just definitely gonna be a new favorite and definitely in my cycle of foundation since I like to purchase, you know, a couple different ones all the time. This one's really nice. And I feel like you should definitely check it out if you're looking for a new foundation, especially for the summer months or the times when you don't wanna have so much coverage on your face. Um, this is a really good one. So what I'm gonna do next is actually just jump straight into the concealer and setting the rest of my face. So I am gonna be using the NARS Creamy Concealer. So this one is just a baby one that I like to keep in my purse and it's in the shade medium one, which is the tone custard. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is just take it right here where it's like the darkest on my eyes. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just blend it out underneath. So then after I do my concealer, I do like to take the excess from the sponge and I just like to tap out the rest of my face. It'll pick up any product to blend it out a little bit nicer. And I just like to do that to kind of rebuff it out and get ready for setting it with some translucent powder. So I'm gonna go in with my tried and true translucent powder. So this one's from Laura Mercier. Everyone knows this product because I've used it every single time. And it's just in the tone translucent. So I'm gonna dip into that with my beauty blender and go underneath my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, since I wanna really keep the natural look of this foundation, I don't wanna change it too much by mattifying it a whole lot. I am just gonna use this little brush that I got from Morphe. It's a tiny little fluffy brush and I am gonna just dip ever so lightly into the powder and really just kind of shake off that excess and just lightly dust it in my T-zone because I really don't want to change it too much. I just want to get the areas that tend to get a little bit more oily on me. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and do my cheeks. And then I am gonna use another translucent powder from Laura Mercier. This has been one of my favorite little secrets that I haven't shared with you guys, but it's such a nice way to add that extra little glow to your skin without it looking like you literally put on a ton of like highlighter. So I am gonna use this guy. So this is also, it's called translucent, but it has a slight shimmer tint to it. And it is so beautiful. And I like to always add that in right here in the spots where the light hits my face. So I'm gonna add it in like here, a little bit here, here, and then definitely right there. So this stuff is so gorgeous and it kind of looks just like the other powder, but it has a really nice pigment to it that I wanna show you guys. So if I were to put it on my skin, I don't know if you guys can kind of 
see that shimmer to it, but it has like a really nice light shimmer. And it's so natural looking that, especially when I'm doing more of like a natural face and I don't wanna have too much going on, I like to use this powder as like a little, you know, added bonus to kind of add a nice little glow. So here is the bronze look. And what I decided to use was the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer for my bronzer. And I pretty much do this all the time and I have tons of videos on this as well. So check out some of my other makeup videos, but I just basically put it here up here on my nose and over here as well just to kind of bronze up the face i like to use a non-powdered bronzer for this just because i want to stay true to like that more natural glow and if i add too much powder on my face it's going to look not as natural and like my own skin so that is why i went with this product but i will also add a little bit of blush right in here as well and i am going to be using this one from merit it's also a cream blush so i'm going to go ahead and add that in And now I'm gonna add the powder that I've been talking about that I love for that little natural glow. And I'm gonna use that same brush that I use to kind of just dust my T-zone ever so lightly. And I'm just gonna kind of dip in there, dust off the excess, and then start right here at my cheekbone and kind of sweep up. And then because this stuff gives such an awesome finish, I am gonna dust again a little bit in the areas where the light hits. And it just looks so beautiful and natural and adds such a nice glow to your skin that's like kind of unexpected. And I just love the finish of it. And it kind of stays true to like that natural skin dewy finish, which is just kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Okay, so here is the final face look. I am gonna hop off camera and just finish the rest of the look and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is the final makeup look. All I did was I just added a little bit of bronzer in my crease and underneath my eyes. And then I did take the same Laura Mercier like translucent powder that had a little bit of that shimmer. And I just put it underneath my brow bone as well as a little bit right here in my tear duct area. And then I just added a little bit of gloss on top. Of course, it's my tried and true, this gloss from Maybelline in the shade Stone. So again, I will have everything linked in the description box. But yeah, I just really love this foundation. I think it's so beautiful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you've tried this foundation yet and what you think about it. But I just think it's giving off such a pretty glow. I'm so excited. And I definitely will give you a wear test. So I'm gonna wear it out all day. I have stuff to go do, errands to run. And then when I come back, I'll let you know how it still looks. So hopefully it'll hold up and stay looking gorgeous. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm actually just here sitting in my car running errands. And it's been about four hours since I did my makeup application initially, but all in all, I think it looks really good and I'm really enjoying the way that it's been wearing. All right guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys found it helpful and I will again have everything linked down in the description box below. But if you also haven't followed me over on the Like It To Know It app, go ahead and do so because I like to post a lot of my outfits or just beauty finds or sale items, different stuff like that. I'll have all the information in my description box, but have a wonderful day and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.